Okay, there we go. Hello, this is Jose Blanco, and I am with Miami Dade College Homestead Campus, and today I'd like to show you how to access the Miami Dade College databases. Now, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to access the databases that you pay for through your student fees? Well, when you take courses like ENC 1101, ENC 1102, psychology, social environment, any course that requires you to do library research, you can access these databases from a computer here at the college or at home. All right, so let's get started. First thing you do is you access the Miami-Dade College homepage, which is www.mdc.edu. Simple enough, right? So here we are at the homepage. Now at the homepage on the left-hand side, you see several links, right? See where it says quick links? Well, under quick links, if you, if you go down a little bit towards the bottom, you see libraries. So click libraries, please. And you get the learning resources page. Now the learning resources page is basically a portal to all of the library related resources at the college. Now over here at the top you have library search, articles, databases, subject guides, or ask a librarian. For our purposes, we are going to click articles slash databases. Super. Now, once we click that, right underneath, we get three links. Databases by subject, databases A through Z, or journals A through Z. We want to click on databases A through Z. So let's go ahead and do that. Very nice. Now, we have the login page. Now for the login, you're going to need your student ID. Your student ID. In my case, I will use my employee ID. Now some of you may say, well, Mr. Blanco, what if I don't have a student ID? That's okay. Your student number is actually on your schedule. So, my student number, and if we could just unclick that high text, yep, so people can see it. All right, so, so let's erase the borrow ID that's there. Just click on it and there we go. Now let's type in mine, which is V62. Okay, um, 926870, right there. Now, the PIN number is simply the last four digits of that same number. So if you have your employee number or your student number, well, mine ends in 6870, so my PIN would be 6870. Now, let's go ahead and log in. Very nice. Here we have an entire list. Let's just go ahead and scroll down all the way to the bottom and then back to the top. Look at the ex extreme number of databases that we have. We have many, many, many databases to choose from. Now, the ones that we would like to use in ENC 1101 and ENC 1102 are towards the top which is Academic One File Gale or Academic Search Complete EBSCO. Let's go ahead and click on Academic One File Gale. And we wait a little bit. Terrific. Now in part two of our presentation, we will actually go into using Academic One File Gale. So, Jorge, can you stop the recording? <laughs> 